I'm learning how to cook with root vegetables at a cooking class run by Second Harvest Food Bank in Spokane. But before the class starts, I talked with Julie Humphreys, the community relations manager, about their mission. We distribute millions and millions of pounds of food every year. And so we started to take a look at how do we not only feed hungry people today, but help them live healthier lives and be more self-sufficient tomorrow? And, and the answer is really cooking classes. I spoke with Maria Schmid, the nutritional educator for the cooking class today. So we bring them on back here and we have a nutritional demonstration as well as a recipe demonstration. Just having that little bit more of inspiration to make their everyday lives just a little bit healthier. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you do that every day, like that, that's awesome. Now I'm excited to get started as the class begins with a nutrition demonstration from Chloe. My plate is basically the new food pyramid. And so you'll notice that a quarter of our plate should be vegetables. So, something that we talk a lot about um, here at Second Harvest is eating the rainbow. And if we eat all those different colors, we're kind of covering all our bases in terms of those vitamins and minerals. All right, we'll be moving into our roasted root veggies um, and tomato sauce. So, the, ro the root vegetables we have up here today are uh, gold potatoes, there, um, <laughs> red potatoes, and then onions. Okay, you're holding the knife with one hand. And then your other hand is in the shape of a claw, so that when you hold your vegetable or your fruit, be it what it may, you don't have a risk of cutting your fingers. Again, cut my onion in half with the claw, and then I have that flat surface to work on and throw it right on in. As we live in Washington, we get a ton of potatoes, ton of apples, ton of onions. Um, the root veggies really come through. Next, I'm putting the new knife skills I learned to the test, and I'm having tons of fun making this root veggie dish with everyone. I cook a lot and so I want to learn more. Learning about vegetables is great. It's nice to get out and enjoy the commodity here and learn some ways to kind of trick my kids per se into eating their veggies. There we go. Now after putting our veggie dish in Tupperware to cook at home, we start on our carrots. So this one we'll do all together. Chloe will serve you a cup and a half of carrots and you'll take that, that back um, to your station and mash that up with your fork and then we'll come around with a teaspoon of butter and a teaspoon of brown sugar. But it's not just the nutritional facts and fun recipes that make these cooking classes special. This is where I get out and I'm meeting people who have something in common with me. They want to learn how to cook. They want to do things healthier. It's just a great place to learn. For a while, my husband and I were homeless and at that point, you know, you kind of just focus more on getting things into your body. And by coming here, you know, it's helped me Retransition from the street, living on the streets, to actually living as a part of society. A couple of times we hit some hard spots, use some food banks, and I would look at the vegetables and be like, "Okay, what do I do?" <laughs> so being able to come here and then actually show you how to do it and physically do it here is just amazing. It's hard to ask for free food. And, but we're, we're saying no, you, you've got a place right here to come. And it makes a really big difference in how someone feels about themselves. So um, they're learning fun things and they get in here together, they have that camaraderie and they really enjoy it. 